Hey, welcome to this uh, Windows channel. And this is the um, observations basically of this new build of Windows 10. Uh, this is now Insider Preview build 14905, as you see in the watermark on the bottom right. Uh, if we take a look at what version this is and Winver, it basically will tell us that this is, it still says 1607, but it's the latest build, 14905.1000 was released today, August 17th. It's the second Redstone 2 build. And uh, if you are looking for features, um, you can stop watching the video now because it uh, doesn't incorporate any new features. If you wanna know my observations though, and uh, a few comments. Also what's uh, fixed and not in here, uh, you can continue on. Uh, if you're an insider and you're not the type that really, you know, you want to try new stuff, uh, of course, this is another build that you can probably skip if you don't really want it. It doesn't give anything new and it's really, you know, the core, the one core of Windows 10 that's being tweaked here and getting ready for uh, insider uh, Redstone 2, um, you know, new stuff and uh, features. So, um, one of the things that I've noticed is the Action Center, which is, seems to me more proactive though, with that Action Center, welcome to Action Center with the picture and everything. It's kind of interesting. Um, that's something that Paul Terod mentioned today. So this build was released uh, around 1 p.m. today and um, it installed flawlessly, had no bugs. I've been testing it pretty much for the past hour and a half and uh, no glitches or issues. Uh, they did fix a certain number of things. Uh, first of all, this is uh, issues with Edge. There was a problem and I had actually seen that problem when I uh, played with uh, the Insider Preview a little more uh, last week. Uh, there was a glitch where the address bar at the top and the browser window itself would kind of have a really big um, black area uh, at uh, the top instead of uh, you know showing the regular uh, window so that was one thing that they fixed narrator scan mode is fixed uh, Microsoft Edge now supports control plus O so when you press control and the letter O you now go directly to the um, address bar at the top which is a cool little shortcut keyboard shortcut uh, if you want to enter, you know, any new uh, email or uh, web address, sorry, not email. So, for example, if you go to a website, you can just, you know, choose immediately what will be the, you know, the, the URL just by uh, using this little shortcut, which is kind of nice. Uh, apart from that, apart from that, uh, there's Sketchpad and Screen Sketch uh, that crash when you uh, change ink. That's for the uh, people that have ink capabilities with uh, their computer. Now, uh, there are a number of issues known here. Uh, they are a little more than last time. First is, of course, support for kernel debugging over 1394 removed. Adobe Acrobat Reader still crashes. Cortana text-to-speech capability not working. Don't ask for jokes. Don't ask her to sing. Doesn't work for most people. Uh, clicking on the power button in the start menu will sometimes on some machines. So let's try it out here. Uh, you see, it uh, just makes the start menu crash, as you've just seen. So the workaround, if you want to shut down, right-click on the start button, and from here, you can sign out and shut down your machine. So remember this one because uh, you might say, hey, I can't shut down my computer. Uh, it is a DLL apparently that is missing that uh, prevents this. So right click on your start button and uh, just go to uh, shut down or sign out and shut down from here. And that's gonna work. Uh, so that's a, a, a known issue basically. Uh, apart from that, you have apps like Yahoo Mail, Trivia Crack, uh, Google, and Skype Translator Preview will crash in this build with a compatibility issue uh, because they changed the platform, recent platform change. And Settings app may crash on certain Windows 10 on Settings. So if you use Settings, if you go into All Settings, and you notice that when you go into certain settings, it's crashing, 
uh, don't worry they know about it there's something wrong with the uh, with the um, settings app and uh, of course they're working on a fix now apart from that what do we know from here is that they are actively working uh, we're seeing that you know insider builds are going to be quite regular once again because uh, this is the second redstone build in a week meaning that you know we're staying in the same active uh, builds where we're going to have a lot of builds and um, i think what could be interesting you know if you're the kind of person that wants to see new features maybe what you could do is you know take a look at my videos what i'll be doing is at the start of each video where i talk about new builds i will state pretty much right away nothing new and so you know that if you want to skip this build you can apart from that it seems to install correctly i haven't had issues and um, i've seen a few people that installed it seem to not really have any issues also so um, it's an okay build but there are some bugs and that's part of the uh, the things that happen so basically you know if you use this and you have other bugs that are not stated in what I've just said you can use the feedback hub and have and voice your problems uh, you can uh, really uh, if you're on Twitter you can of course uh, you know send Donna Sarkar your problems and they're gonna tell they're gonna you know take it out and uh, check it out see what happens Apart from that, I got nothing really uh, to talk about much. And, um, you know, it's just another Windows 10 build. So uh, nothing new to really talk about. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. And uh, why not voice your own comments and suggestions on this build? Does it work well? What have you found? Uh, did it install or not? Uh, let us know. And uh, one last little thing a lot of people saying what does it mean expires as you see here it says expires first of october at 7 59 pm this is normal insider previews expire after a certain time don't worry as builds come this date will be pushed back hope you enjoy the videos and uh, thank you for following me on this channel